So today, I'm going to show you how to create a live USB drive. And if you can see this, it's just a small key drive. And it says 16 gigabytes on it. You can get a 4 gigabyte or a 8 gigabyte depending on the size of the files. I would, re well, I would recommend the larger one, so if you need to save files from the computer that you're working with, you have ample space on your drive. Basically, what this drive can be used for is to hijack any computer hardware, and you can then use it for whatever you want. Bypass. Uh, the operating system and all the security features that are on there unless there is a uh, CMOS password which in that case includes the computer and it will ask you for a password uh, if that happens simply remove the side of the computer and then you can look up how to do a clear CMOS and some of the other instructional videos and that will reset the BIOS password uh, basically I'm going to go ahead into the next clip here and uh, show you how it's done. Step 1. Insert flash drive into computer. And step 2. We are going to go to Yummy page. Download the latest software from Yummy. If you downloaded the file and you want to run it from your computer directly, or you want to run it later, go to wherever you downloaded it, find it, open it, and then you may or may not have this window come up, but you just say yes. That was a user access control if you didn't see it. Now here we are at yummy screen. And basically we're going to say, I agree to the first screen. We're going to scroll to and find our drive, which is going to be our uh, removable thumb drive. It'll tell you how much space is on it, so I don't know if you can really read that too well, but I have a 16 gig, and it's the one, the only one that has information on it. If you want, you can click show all drives. That, I don't recommend that option, though, because your removable drive will come up. Um, you do want to click on format if this is the first time that you're making a drive and it will format it for you. Then you want to click on this list here which is going to give you every, almost every distribution of Linux. I'm just going to click on Ubuntu because that's what I have downloaded. I think I have it downloaded anyway. Um, okay, so I might not have it on this computer but that's okay. Basically all you would do from that point is you would open up the file it would show green text here if it was good and then you would simply click create and then any pop-up boxes that come up you just say yes so since I'm not going to um, reformat this drive and recreate it because I already have a created drive we're gonna pretend that I just went through that whole process and proceed to step three as you can see now the computer is shutting down I'm going to hit F2 a bunch of times to set up your computer to make sure that it goes into the boot menu. This one has a boot menu option if you press F10, but I'm going to show you how to go to the boot menu anyway. So we're going to go to advanced BIOS features in this one. You may have just a boot option screen on your main screen, but we're going to go down to hard disk boot priority. And then, actually, we want first boot device. We're going to change it from CD-ROM to removable. So basically, the idea here in the BIOS is to set this um, first boot device in your boot priority to removable. So it'll either say USB removable or something like that on yours. So I press F10 and that says do you want to save and exit and by default it says yes or Y so just press enter now for me uh, because I set that option I shouldn't have to go into the boot menu so I'm not going to touch nothing I'm just going to let it go and it should boot right up into yummy the stuff that we just installed on the USB stick and there we go so we're going to look at Linux distributions 
come on now. Here we go. Mine's a little slow. Um, and then we have here Ubuntu 14.04.1 Desktop AMD 64. So we're going to select our distribution. And we're simply going to say try without installing. So any of these live versions of Linux, you can try them without installing. Basically what that allows you to do is to hijack the hardware on the computer. So as you can see here, there's no BIOS password, so I'm simply going to you know, load up Ubuntu and it's going to bypass anything that's on the hard drive. Uh, so even if you have a computer that has no hard drive and you want to load up Linux, sometimes that works. Sometimes the computer will hang if there's no hard drive and it won't do anything. But um, yeah, you can even ha access a broken computer that has no hard drive if you simply just need to access the internet on a broken computer and it's all that's around. Uh, you'll get this and basically Linux will load into your computer's memory if there is no hard drive. Uh, that's just how it works anyway. So you don't, you're not really required to have a hard drive to operate the key drive system which is actually really cool so you can log in and diagnose any issue and as Ubuntu loads here you see we had to do minimal things and we have a whole desktop up here there's an option here which says install it and we have full access to the computer including internet and I didn't even Go through Windows or anything, and it's pretty simple. There you go. There's Google. All done. Enjoy.